Hello and welcome to Pilates with Brooke coming to you from our yurt. Um, please excuse the background noise. We are having a log cabin constructed very close to us. So it's making a little bit of a noise, but hopefully it won't be too bad for this workout. So what I have planned for you today is a stomach series workout. And the stomach series workout is typically incorporated in each Pilates class that you would take. So it definitely targets the abdominal area. Um, we do have our head up quite a bit, so if you have discomfort in your neck, then by all means let your head come down every so often to give the neck a little bit of a rest. So with that, let's go ahead and get started turning lengthwise onto our mat. We're gonna lay all the way down onto the floor. Feet are hip bone width apart. We're finding our neutral pelvis, so you should be able to slide your hand below the lower spine your arms are long by your side chest is open shoulder blades pinched together from here i'm going to have you actively reach the arms up by your thighs take an inhale through the nose exhale through the mouth as you curl your head and chest up your eyes are looking to your thighs you have about a fist width between your chin and your collarbone from here slide those arms down towards the end of the mat and begin pulsing those arms you're going to inhale for five, exhale five, inhale, exhale. Keeping this going, we're doing the hundreds. Bring your knees up to tabletop if you want to progress. Good, inhale. If you want to add on, lengthen those legs up. Stay curled up. Inhale, if you want to lengthen the legs away from you externally rotating, please do so. We have three more sets. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. Last one here, squeeze that tummy tight so you can curl up a little bit higher and bend the knees into your chest to let your head rest, really lengthening into the back of the neck. Reach your fingertips out towards your ankles. Take a deep inhale for me. Exhale, curl your head and chest up. Extend your right leg out to 45 degrees. Take your right hand onto that left knee. Curl up a little bit higher and now switch legs. Single leg stretch. Reaching that leg long across the room. You can move your head around a little bit if it starts getting uncomfortable. If you need to place your head down, just make certain that the back stays flat against the floor. Good. Two more each leg. Shh. Shh. One more. Little windy out there. And bend both knees in. Let the head come down to rest. Bring your hands behind the thighs. We're going into our stretching scissors, also known as single straight leg stretch. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Reach those legs straight up to the sky. Release your left leg. Take your hands, grab onto your right calf muscle or behind the thigh, but try and keep the leg as straight as you can and don't grab onto that knee joint. Curl up a little higher, pull the tummy in tighter, pull this leg in for two little cats. Stretch, stretch, and switch. Shh, shh, and switch. Good. Really lengthening into the hamstrings. Once again, if that neck starts to bother you, let the head come down. Keep the legs a little bit more over the body, really pushing that lower back firmly into the floor. Good. Two more each leg here, and then we're going to go right into single without pulsing. Shh, shh. Last one. And now bring your fingertips to cradle your head. Bring those legs up to the sky. Pull that tummy in tight. Fire into that thigh as it reaches towards your head. See if you can curl up a little higher. Two more each leg. Shh. One more each leg. And bend the knees into your chest. Let your head and neck rest. Go ahead. So now we're going to go into the single, or excuse me, the double leg, double arm stretch. Bring those fingertips back to the ankles. Inhale for me. Exhale, curl the head and chest up. Inhale, extend the arms and the legs straight up to the ceiling. We're doing a modified version first. And then bring those arms back to the side of your ankles as you tuck the knees in. Curl up a little higher. One more time like that. Inhale straight up. Pull the tummy tight. Exhale, tuck it in. Now we add on. Inhale, extend the arms and the legs out to 45. Make sure you can see your arms in your peripheral vision. Bend the elbows, bring the knees back, extend the arms to the ankles. Again, inhale, extend. 
Exhale, bend and tuck. Again, inhale, reach, pull the tummy in. Exhale, bend and tuck. Now we're gonna sweep the arms. Inhale, reach, sweep the arms, circle around, tuck the knees in, two more. Inhale, reach, pull that tummy in. Exhale, sweep it around, last one. Exhale, sweep it around, let the knees or the head come down as the knees come to the chest. Good, now we're gonna do double leg straight leg stretch. Fingertips cradle the head. So once again, very lightly placed at the base of the skull, not interlacing the fingers. Take an inhale for me. Exhale, curl your head and chest up. Legs go straight up, externally rotate them. So only the heels are together, the toes are apart. You are actively squeezing your legs together. Inhale as you lengthen the legs away. Keep the back flat against the mat. Try and pull the tummy in. And then exhale, bring them up. Again, inhale, reach. Scoop that tummy in tight. Flatten that back. Exhale, bring it up. We have four more here. Pull the tummy in. And exhale. Good. Inhale, keep that back flat against the mat. And exhale, last two. See if you can curl up a little higher. Bring that rib cage closer to the pelvis. Last one here, squeeze that tummy in tight and lift it up, bend the knees into the chest. Let your head rest, beautiful. So now we're gonna go into our crisscross. Fingertips once again, cradle the head. We're gonna start with our head down just to give our neck a little bit of a break and then we'll lift the head up. So the important thing is once again with that head down, you keep the lower back firmly pushed into the floor. I want you to lengthen your right leg out, tucking that left knee in, and then switch. Pull the tummy in tight and switch. One more time here, then we curl the head up. Lengthen the left leg, tucking that knee in, pull the tummy tight. Now curl your head and chest up. Take your left chest up towards that right knee and then switch. Good, and switch. Crisscross, rotating across the base of the shoulder blades. Really try not to come down in between as you rotate from side to side. Actively reaching that leg long, pulling that tummy in tight. Two more each leg. Shh. Shh. Good. Shh. Shh. And center out. Bend the knees and let the head come down to rest. Fabulous. Okay, so now we're going to go into our roll up. I want you to lengthen the legs long onto the floor. I like my legs glued together. They act like one leg by really squeezing through the inner thighs. Your arms come up to the sky. You're going to inhale, reach the arms a little bit overhead, making sure that the rib cage stays close, that you don't pop it open to the sky. Take another inhale. Exhale, curl the head and chest up and peel yourself up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna sit tall in between, really lengthening the spine, shoulders down, inhale. Now exhale, spine stretch forward, scoop that tummy in. Think of rounding up and over an imaginary ball, actively squeezing the legs together. Inhale, stack the vertebrae up, shoulders down. And then exhale, scoop and round yourself down. Good, again, inhale, reach, rib cage close. Exhale, peel yourself up. If you need help, you can always grab on. Sit tall at the top. Inhale, pull the tummy in. Exhale, spine stretch. Inhale, tall. Shoulders down the back. Exhale, round it down. We have one more, and then we're going to pick up the pace without lengthening the spine. Inhale, reach. Exhale it up. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, spine stretch forward. Put your puppy's nose. Inhale, up. And exhale, that's Capone, he's my buddy. Now we're gonna take the straight spine out. Inhale, reach, exhale, peel it up and just round over the thighs. Inhale, come up, stay rounded, shoulders down and all the way back down. Two more and then we're done with this. Inhale, reach, exhale it up. Squeeze that tummy tight, lengthen over that imaginary ball. Bring yourself up. Good, slowly roll down. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, peel it up. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale up and exhale, come all the way down. Beautiful. 
You're gonna scoot yourself in just a little bit back to the center of your mat. We're gonna go into a single leg circle. So I want you to keep the left leg lengthened out onto the floor and then I want you to flex that left foot. So actively firing into the quad, bend the right knee into the chest, reach the right leg up with the toe pointed and then externally rotate that leg so the inner thigh is pointed towards the nose. Release the leg. If this is challenging because you have tight hamstrings, you can always soften your knee but keep it more turned in, okay? So pull the tummy in tight, arms long by your side, neck is long. Inhale, cross that leg across to the left hip but keep that right hip grounded. Draw a long oval circle, bring it up and around and then reach it back up. Again, inhale, cross over, pelvis stays parallel to the floor, exhale it up. Again, three more this direction, working into the quad, using the core to stabilize the torso, I can talk the torso, good. And now reverse it, open slightly to the side, sweep it down around, up and pause it. Again, so you're only going about six inches to either side of your body. Three more here. Reach it up, three, exhale it up, two, and one. Bend the knee into your chest, give a little bit of a break. Good, now lengthen it out to meet the left leg. That right foot flexes, bend the left knee in, point the left toe, give it a little hug, and then lengthen the leg up to the sky. Externally rotate that thigh. Pull the tummy in, arms long by your side, Inhale, cross over, and exhale up and around for six, five. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Last two. And now reverse directions. Open slightly, sweep around, bring it up. Keep that pelvis nice and stable. Good. Three more here. Forcing that air out, two, and one. Bend the knee into the chest, good. So the last thing we're gonna do now is bring the other knee in. We're gonna go into corkscrew one, okay? And then we'll stretch out the front of our thighs. Arms long by your side, back is flat against the mat. Reach the legs straight up. Once again, if those hamstrings are really tight and you can't get the legs straight up, if they're way out here, I'd rather you bend your knees, okay? Neck is nice and long. Make sure the chin does not come up towards the sky. Externally rotate those legs. Unless your knees are bent, then keep them parallel. Let the legs come slightly to the left. Keep the right hip grounded. Lengthen the legs down, keep the back flat. Bring them up and around to the right and then back to where you started. Now we reverse directions. Inhale to the right, keep the left hip grounded. Circle down, pull the tummy in, flatten the back. Exhale, bring it up and around, and pause it to the left. Pull that tummy in, and pause to the right. Good, to the left. To the right, almost done here. One more time, each direction, to the left, imprint that spine, pull that tummy in tight, reach the legs long, last one. And bend the knees into your chest, very good job. Place your hands behind your thighs, tuck your chin in, and rock yourself up. We're gonna flip over onto our stomachs, we're gonna do a modified half bow, just to open up into the front of those thighs. So I want you to take your left hand, place it below your forehead. Legs are long onto the floor. Reach back with your right hand, bend your left leg, reach across and grab it. So if you're unable to grab it, if you're really, really tight, you can always take a yoga strap or a towel to wrap around the ankle and grab onto it. With the forehead still on the hand, I want you to squeeze at your bottom to push the pelvis firmly into the floor. Then you're gonna push that left ankle into that right hand and lift the knee and the toe up to the sky. Keep the hip grounded 
and push the foot away from your bottom. You don't want it to come in here. Yes, that gets the quad, but we want to get the front of the hip. We want to get into our hip flexor, our psoas muscle. So that means we need to create a bow, really opening into the front of that left hip. Holding here for a couple more breaths. Keep that left hip firmly pressed into the ground. Push that foot away. Good, it's a nice little opening through the shoulder on that right hand side as well. And then gently release it down, let the leg go. Switch hands, right hand goes underneath the forehead, left hand reaches back, bend the right knee, grab onto the ankle, not the toes, grab, get the ankle. Push, excuse me, squeeze your bottom, push the hip into the mat, push the foot into the hand, and then reach the leg up to the sky. So notice my hip stays grounded. I don't open it to the side. That feels really good and you can do that. It's not gonna hurt you. But for this purpose, it's a prep for the full bow and that means your hips stay grounded onto the floor. Lift a little higher. Good. One more deep breath. And then gently release, let the leg go long. Bring the hands next to your chest. Dig your knees in, lift your hips up. Scoot your knees forward, bring them to the width of the mat with your big toes together going into wisdom pose. Gently walk your hands out. Let your forehead rest on the ground. So with the knees open wide, you're able to bring the chest just a little bit closer towards the floor. Just take a couple deep breaths here. Good, one more. and then slide the hands to the knees. Gently push yourself up and you are all done. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that felt good. We will slowly start progressing into more challenging workouts, especially for me since I'm getting right back into it after taking a little hiatus from Pilates. I'm happy to be back and I hope that you are as well. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you very soon.